Welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's solve the lead code question, Merge Sorted Arrays. This is an easy question which was asked in almost all interviews. So, we are given two arrays, num1 and num2. Num1 is of length m plus n. Num2 is of length n. The sorted result will be in num1 array. So, let's see how to solve this. We know that num1 and num2 are both sorted. 3 is the highest element in num1, 6 is the highest element in num2. When these two arrays are sorted, what would be the highest element of the sorted array? It would be the maximum of 3 and 6. In our case, it's 6. So, we place 6 at the end of num1. Now, the array will be 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 6. Then we decrement the pointer. Because we took the element from num2, we decrement the pointer pointing to elements in num2. So our approach to solve this question is we'll start from the highest values. That is, we start from the end of the array. We compare values and place the maximum value at the end of the first array num1. To do this, we require three pointers. I points to the last non-zero element of num1 j points to the end of num2, k points to the end of num1. We compare elements at i and j. If the element at i is greater than element at j, copy element at i to the end of num1 at position k. Then decrement i and j. Otherwise, copy element at j to position k and decrement j and k. We'll repeat this until all elements from num2 are merged into num1. So let's take this example and see how it works. So we have three pointers i, j and k. Among 3 and 6, what is the maximum value? 6. So we take 6 and put in num1 at position k. Now num1 will be 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 6. Since we took element from num2, we decrement j as well as k because the element at k is already filled. It's not 0. So we decrement k. Now in the next iteration, we compare i and j. 3 and 5. Which is greater? 5. So we place 5 at k and decrement k and j. Now the array num1 is 1, 2, 3, 0, 5, 6. We still have i at 3, j at 2. So comparing 3 and 2, what is the maximum? 3. So now we place 3 in k and decrement i and k because this time we placed element from num1 at k. So we decrement i and k. Now we compare the elements at i and j. This time both values are equal. So we pick element from num2 and place it at position k. Since we picked element from num2, we decrement k and j. So now j index j is less than 0. That means all elements from num2 are merged into num1. So our final result is in num1. So this is how this logic works. Let's see how the code looks like. So this is our question and I'm coding in C sharp. I've already added the code here. So what I did is I had three pointers i, j and k. i is m minus 1 which is the last index of nums1 uh, with last index of the non-zero element of nums1 array. And j is n minus 1 which is the last index of nums2 array. k is the last index of nums1 array. We'll repeat our calculation as long as j is greater than or equal to 0 because after that all the elements from j from num2 are already merged into num1. So we don't have to do any processing after that. So in the inside the loop we have uh, an if condition where we check if the nums1 of i, the element at i is greater than the element at j or not. If it is greater, we'll put the element from num1 
at position k in number 1 and decrement both k and i just like how we saw in the example. Otherwise, we'll place the element from nums 2 of j in, uh, in nums 1 at position k. Then decrement k and j. We have another condition here, i greater than or equal to uh, 0. So, there might be a case where the element pointed by i is always greater than the element pointed by j at some point of time. So, what do we do then? We keep decrementing i and it might go outside the bounds, right? So, in such case, what does it mean? We can simply take the elements from j, elements pointed by j and put it in uh, nums1 at position k. And keep doing that. We'll keep uh, repeating that until all the elements are migrated from num2 to num1. So this is the logic to solve this question. Coming to time complexity, uh, at the worst case, we'll be looping through all elements in num1, right? So the time complexity is because of m plus n. Coming to space complexity, we are not making use of any extra space. The final result will be present in nums1. So the space complexity is big O of 1. So this is how to solve merge sorted arrays. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.